Hi everyone, welcome to Slack. So this is the place where we're going to be having a lot of our online discussions. So if you've got a question, a query, or some troubleshooting that needs to be done, we're gonna pop this into Slack. It's sort of like a discussion board type space, but it's far better than the LearnJCU discussion board. So rather than send us an, an email, pop everything in here and save emails for anything confidential that you need to discuss with me or Steph. So let's have a look at the interface. On the left hand side over here, you'll see a bunch of icons. These are all the different workspaces that I have with different organizations that I work with. So you won't see those. You should just see as soon as you come in our intro to G intro GIS workspace. So that's a little icon here. So first bit of terminology on the far left, these are the workspaces. Now down here, the next left, left hand column, we have our channels. Now our channels are, this sort of like chapters, I guess, and they're ways in which we can organize our discussions. So as you scroll down on this left-hand side, you'll see all the different channels that Steph and I have already set up for the class. And these are areas in which we think that we might have certain topics that we need to arrange our discussions. We can always add more of those as the semester goes along. So I'll come back to those, those channels in a moment. Just one thing to, to note that you won't be able to see the ones that have the padlocks next to them because those are ones that Steph and I use behind the scenes as we develop the class. So up the top here, this is where you can change some information about how you appear publicly. So if you click on this, you can have a look at your profile, for example, and you can add a profile picture of yourself and you can just do that by going into the edit mode. Now, one of the other things that I like to do is I'm, I'm not really good on keeping the notifications going all the time. So I like, to, I like to turn my notifications off either for a set period of time, or if I go into my preferences, I can say, well, let me know if there's any new messages or anything direct message to me that I need to be notified about or leave it up to me to decide when I'm going to go in and check those, for example. So have a bit of a play and work through the preferences to see what's going to work for you. Now, let's say you've come into Slack and you've got a bit of a challenge and, and you wanna get, get some help with a question to do with the class. And so your first thing is going to be to decide which channel you would like to post that in. So it's really important that you only post a question, query or, or a statement in just one channel because otherwise it gets really congested. So find the most appropriate channel that, that you're going to post something in. Now let's say we're going to post something into the ArcGIS installation channel. And maybe this, this is something that you're having trouble maybe installing the software or something. So what you're going to do is to type in the comments box down below as much information as you possibly can. So things that you've tried, things that don't work, anything like that, that's going to help people troubleshoot this for you. You can put in a link, um, you can attach files just by dragging and dropping them in there as well, or there's your little attachment paper clip down there too. So once you, once you, you write whatever your message is, if you need a gap, you hit shift enter, keep going and say that's the full message and when you're done you're going to hit enter to actually post that as a message so you can see that's posted now now the next student comes along or perhaps it's Steph or I or one of the tutors and we can decide if we want to add a reaction so you can use any emojis that you'd like with that or perhaps you want to make a comment about that maybe you're going to answer the question or just make another comment like perhaps you've had the same problem as well. So you want to go into this speech bubble here that's going to allow you to reply to the thread. So you click on that and you're gonna type your message there as well. And again, you can add links or attachment there too. And post that up. And so you'll now see that the main message is here and you've got the reply there and it keeps it nice within a single thread. So it's much better to reply to to a thread within the thread rather than starting a new message. Now say you've thought, oh, I, I wrote that, but I've perhaps I've put it in the wrong channel or I didn't mean to say that, I need to get rid of that, that's perfectly fine. On the three dots, you can click on that and hit delete message as well. So that will disappear. And by the same, by the same token, if you see that there's something that, that's been posted and you want to save it for later, 
you can click on the bookmark there and that's going to save that message or you can also add it as unread which will remind you that that's something that you need to go in and read again. So I'm going to delete that one because that's obviously not the best message to keep there anyway. And I'm going to show you now how you can tag individual people as well. So for example, if you're, you're writing a message, maybe you're going to say help and you need to bring this to the attention of one of your classmates, all you need to do is use the at symbol and select or start writing the classmate's name. So I might say help Steph, for example, and then she's going to get a notification that there's a message in there targeted to her. So that's one way you can do that in the public space. The other way to send Steph a direct message or of course any of your classmates is to go through direct messages here. So at the moment Steph and I are the only person in the, the only people in this workspace. So our two names are the only ones up here. As people join our Slack workspace, there'll be more and more names come up here. So if I wanted to send Steph a private message, I would just click on her name and I'm going to type a message to her. I actually also find this a really good space to sometimes send myself little reminder notes as well. And so I can just pop that in there and say if I do something on my laptop, then I've got access to that on my phone as well. So there's just some really, really basic things about how we use Slack. And just a reminder that this is the best place that, that we can come to, to to answer any questions and particularly for any troubleshooting. So with more, to, more than 200 students in the class, you're going to get a far quicker answer here than you are by any emails. So please, if you want to email us, just keep that for confidential stuff and come into Slack to converse with the rest of the class, ask questions, share notes, and let's really make this a great collaborative class.